Marty, thank you. Yeah, unfortunately, Zane couldn't be here today, so I'm filling in from him, for him, and hopefully we'll do his talk justice. Can everybody hear me in the back? Yeah. All right, perfect, thank you. So I'm gonna be talking about how to solve for IoT identity management using anonymous attestation. If the slides will advance, there we go. So the IoT world is different from the web world when it comes to identification. The traditional web world was anonymous in both directions. You connect to a web server, it didn't know who you were, you weren't sure who it was. That was extended with largely one-way authentication, um, TLS, HTTPS, where you could validate who the web server was, but they weren't authenticating you. Um, if you needed mutual authentication in the web world, you have a user typing in a password. That doesn't work in the IoT world. It's very important there that you know what device is sending you the data so you can trust that data. And as the device pr producing the data, you want to know that who you're sending it to is actually authorized to get that. The same holds true for control, for accessing location. Um, the IoT world is just not the same as the web world. In the web world, there's a user to enter a password for mutual authentication. IoT is autonomous. That's not an option. Interestingly, there's, there's a way we can solve this in that IoT devices tend to be fungible. If we're gonna scale to billions or even trillions of devices, those devices all need to come out of the factory identical. We're gonna be producing hundreds of thousands or millions of devices that are equivalent. And so all we really need to do for the authentication step is verify that a device is part of a particular authorized group. We don't need to know a particular individual identity for it initially, just that it's authorized as part of some group. So we're gonna use that to enable secure IoT authentication. We could look at trying to use traditional shared keys, PKI, something that's used in the web world, but with tens of billions of devices doing the provisioning of all those different keys before, before distributing those devices into the field is just not scalable. Um, we want to be able to take a device off the factory, put it in a box, ship it to its final location, and then turn it on and have it authenticate without needing to put it in some sort of secure environment to pre-provision a key first. So luckily there's a technology that's been shipping in Intel processors since 2008, um, shipping in, in ARM TPM chips recently called direct anonymous attestation that will let us solve this problem. So I'll work through what direct anonymous attestation is backwards. So the attestation is a device can prove its membership in a particular group not prove its individual identity, but just that it's a member of some group. Um, that enables anonymity. You don't know who that specific individual device is, just that it's part of a group. Its anonymity set is some, some manufacturing group. And then direct, there's no need to trust a third party for validation. Given the group public key that's associated with that group, you can validate a signature from a member of that group. Um, the group key is provisioned at the device manufacturer, each individual device that's produced gets its own private key associated with that group. And the crypto is performed in secure hardware. So these devices can be placed in the field and the, the private key that's in the device is not at risk of compromise. So since that's there, let's use it. Um, as I said, it's been shipped by Intel since 2008 by ARM. It's in the TPM 1.1 and or 1.2 and, and upcoming 2.0 standards. So that DA signature can be the root of secure access for IoT. You turn a device on for the first time, it proves its or attests its membership of a particular group, and from there you can start you can provision a particular identity for that device and an additional access key to prove that specific identity. So that forms the core of, of the company we work at, Zaptum, our trusted transit security solution for the IoT. 